What's up guys, my name is John and welcome back to another Tech Talk. Today we are talking about the DJI Osmo Pocket Extension Rod. It was just released this week and I got my hands on one and we're going to take a look at it and I'm going to let you know what my initial thoughts are on the latest accessory for the DJI Osmo Pocket. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I've been waiting for this accessory for quite a while now. I've, I've wanted to get my hands on this extension rod for the DJI Osmo Pocket. I've come up with other ways of, of mounting my Osmo Pocket, but this is the DJI Osmo Pocket. It is the coolest little stabilized gimbal camera you have ever seen. It's an awesome little camera but it's tiny and it's handheld so and that's one of the great things about it but sometimes the field of view if you're vlogging with it is a little close to your face so sometimes you want to get it a little further away or higher up at different angles um, but the problem is you put this on a extension pole to get it higher up that's great and all but you can't control the tilt of the gimbal if you want to like pan and tilt and turn around you can't do that unless you have your phone paired via the Wi-Fi adapter, then when you're holding it up, you can be holding your phone and adjusting the gimbal that way. No more. Gone are the days where you would have to do that, because now this device, the, the extension rod, has, this flips up, this will hold your cell phone, and then right here it has a joystick that you can use to turn your gimbal head of your Osmo Pocket, left, right, up, down. Works really awesome. So how does it mount into, into the uh, extension rod? Let's take a look. Folded up and stored away, it looks just like this. The top slides all the way down. The cell phone holder flips down to protect the controls and the buttons. So you flip this up and that reveals the joystick and the control buttons that turn the you can power it on and start and stop recording, change it to flip around to view, change the modes, the gimbal modes, and there's even a custom button on the side right here, the C2 button, and that button has some pretty cool uses as well. And then over here you have the switch that switches between what the joystick will do. If it's in the mode where it's just left, right, up, down, the joystick will only move it up and down or left and right at any point in time. It won't go up and sideways, you know, and, and pan at an angle. It just goes straight up, straight down, straight left, straight right, which is convenient if you're trying to just do a straight pan or a shot where you're trying to tilt up and you don't want the gimbal to shift left or right. Now, if you want to be able to go up and to the left at the same time, you put it in kind of this orbit mode, you flip that switch. Now, if you're going up on the gimbal and you move the, if you're going up on the joystick and you move it a little bit to the right or left, the gimbal is going to move in that direction as well. Um, it works okay. It's not the best, but, but it does pretty good. It's definitely better, better than what you have on the gim the you have no controls on the pocket itself to do that unless you get the control wheel and then that you have to switch flip a switch between that so this is definitely better than the control wheel so to get it mounted in you simply pull it out it's just friction it's held by friction there's no twist lock or anything which i do have to say the fact that this pulls in and out by friction makes me a little bit nervous i mean it's nice and snug now but over time of using it and extending it and putting it back in is this going to get loose and and loosen up and then not when you extend it is it just going to collapse back down i don't know we'll see time will tell i hope it doesn't but i feel a little bit better if it was a twist lock because then you at least know it will continue to work for years down the road when it's just friction i don't know we'll see so let's get it mounted in. So you pull it out, and then next thing you do is you just flip this lever down, and that unlocks that, and then it can flip open. And you can see there's a notch there that goes right into the accessory port on the Osmo Pocket. So let's go ahead and get the Osmo Pocket here. We're just gonna go in here with the camera, get it lined up, 
and just slide it on in. So there you go. So then you just close this like that. That flips down. And then you just snap it shut, just like so. And now the pocket is in the arm. So now, if I press this button right here, the, the pocket will turn on. So there we go. So if I go right with the stick, it spins around. If I push up with the stick, it tips up. Down with the joystick, it tilts down. Nice and smooth, works really well. So you can still see the screen, which is nice. You can still access the memory card over here. And another cool thing that it has that I didn't realize it was gonna have is it has a cold shoe mount on the side here. So you can put a microphone in there and then plug it into the mic adapter, which I don't have. Um, or you could put uh, an accessory light to light up what you're shooting. Uh, so that'll be a nice little feature. I didn't realize it was going to have that, but it, it does have a cold shoe mount on the side there. This button right here, you press it and it switches into selfie mode. It toggles between that. And then this button toggles between the different modes, FPB, follow, or tilt locked. So now it's, I believe, in tilt locked. Yeah, now it's in tilt locked. The tilt lock and the follow modes, this is where the C2 button comes into play. So right now it's in tilt lock. So you can see when I'm tipping the camera, the gimbal is locked horizontally. Now, if I hold in C2, while I'm holding it in, it switches it into follow mode. So if I hold C2 now, now watch. When I tip it down, the gimbal is now in follow mode. It's following me down as long as I'm holding C2 button in. Now if I release C2, I just released it, now it's back in tilt locked and it's locked to where I stopped holding in C2. So it's a nice way to just toggle into the other mode and it works the other way around. So if I'm in, if I'm in follow mode and the gimbal follows me around, now if I hold in C2, so watch, watch, I'm gonna hold C2, I'm holding C2 in, now it is in tilt locked mode. So I was in follow mode, now it's in tilt locked mode while I'm holding the button in. And now watch, I'm gonna release C2, I release C2, and now it's back in follow mode. So that's a quick and easy way to just quickly toggle into follow mode or tilt locked mode if you're in, the other, in one of those modes just by holding this button on the side. I really love that, that was an unexpected feature. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, then the other buttons just do what you would expect to start and stop recording. The function button, if you press and hold the function button, this button right here, that powers the gimbal on and off. And while it's on, if you press this button, the function button, it switches between photo mode and video mode. So it's a quick and easy way to switch between the two. You press and hold the record button to start and stop recording. So all in all, I'm really loving this. It extends out quite a ways. I'm going to back up here. It's probably three feet long, a yard long, all totaled, but great for getting, you know, the gimbal up high to see over crowds or to just get a selfie shot if you're vlogging to get the camera further away from your face so that you can see more in the frame than you can with the, with just holding it in your hand. You can only get so far away, but with this, you can hold it and get it another three feet away, which is really awesome. So, so far, I am loving it. I, in practice, I haven't used it a ton yet because I just got it two days ago. Um, but then, yeah, the this thing here will hold your cell phone. So hold your phone in there. You can connect with the Wi-Fi adapter. It can slide on the bottom of this while it's in the extension rod. And then you can connect to DJI, the MIMO app, and you can see what's, what's going on that you can still use while viewing the video from the Osmo on your smartphone, you can still use the thumbsticks down here to control it and not have to use that invisible joystick on the screen of the phone to try to move the gimbal up and down. And that always never seems to work very well for me because it seems a little bit laggy. So I always end up going too far um, when I'm trying to do adjustments with that. So works really nice. And if you don't have your smartphone on here, you know, audio can be an issue with the pocket if you don't have the, if you're using the Wi-Fi adapter, you can't plug in a microphone or maybe you don't have the microphone adapter like me. 
um, and you want to use a third party like Zoom recorder, you could use this cell phone holder to just mount your Zoom recorder right here with a microphone pointed at you. Then it's close to your face. Even when you have the mic, the camera extended far out, you could just put your Zoom recorder right in this holder and then the microphone is nice and close to your mouth when you're talking and not have to worry about if you have the pocket extended way out on the arm, the microphone would then be a long ways away if you had the mic in this cold shoe mount. So that's something to think about or if you want to use a cell phone to record your audio, you can mount your iPhone or your smartphone right here and put a microphone in it and record the audio separately. There's a lot of options that you could do. So all in all, I'm loving this and then to fold it up, this just folds down to cover up and it helps protect the controls and the joystick, which is nice because I do have to say when I received this and I took it out of the box, the plastic thumb pad of the joystick fell out onto the floor. So it wasn't, it had come loose and this just does just pop off. So I was able to just press it in there and, and it's fine. It's staying on. It's, it's no, no big deal, but it's nice to know that this will cover it up to help that from being pulled off by something in my camera bag. Um, and then, so you just take the Osmo out, like so, slide it off the shoe mount, the accessory mount, close this back up, latch it, okay? And then you just push it down, fold this straight up, and then that just goes right in there like so. Folds up into a fairly compact, package to put in your camera bag it's lightweight too so it's not it doesn't add a lot of weight to the to the osmo setup when you're vlogging and stuff i could i could easily hold this out for an extended period of time and vlog using my osmo so i'm excited to use my osmo more for vlogging now because i kind of got away from using it because of the close view i don't like filling that much of the frame with my face so i haven't used the osmo for a lot of vlogging but I'm, I'm excited to be able to use the Osmo for vlogging because I love the image quality that this camera puts out. That's going to do it. That's all I have to say about this for now because I haven't used it a ton. But what I've seen and, and tried with it, I'm loving. So order yours today. It's available now on, on the DJI website. I don't know if it's available anywhere else yet, like B&H or any of those. But I know it's available on DJI's website. Uh, if you don't order, I think more than $80, you do have to pay a little bit for shipping on this. But throw this and something else in your shopping cart and get your free shipping. I did pay for shipping on this because I only ordered this because uh, the only other thing right now that I want from DJI is the audio adapter and they are currently out of stock. So hopefully those, those will be back in stock soon. All right, that's going to do it for me. I hope you found this video informative. I hope you learned something and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I'll see you guys next time.